All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Wild Planet Albacore Wild Tuna. All right, you can see sustainably pole and line caught. <clears throat> okay, so the tuna, let's see where we got it. All right, so normally is $16.99. Wow, that's expensive. It was $4 off, <clears throat> so that makes it $12.99. So $13 for these cans. I don't remember how much the, we're going to compare it to the chicken of the sea one that Costco had. This wasn't on sale. I don't remember how much it was, but you can see how much more tuna you get. You get, where does it say here? 12 seven ounce cans. Whereas this, you get six five ounce cans. So anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see what we got. So, um, Let's see. I'm blind. Okay. Delicious uh, white tuna steak. Uh, just tuna and sea salt. No water or oil added. Averages 705 milligrams EPA and DHA omega-3 per serving. What's EPA? Environmental Pollution Agency. I don't know why that's on a can <laughs> of tuna, but uh, okay. <laughs> So I guess that's what the Wild Planet, It's uh, that's a lot of miles per gallon. <laughs> All right, so, okay, 21 grams of protein per serving, right? It says they don't use long lines or nets, and it's turtle safe and dolphin safe. Our wildly good promise, wildly good for the planet, wildly good for you, wildly good taste. All right, I, I, I don't know turtle and to, uh, dolphin safe. I guess you can feed this to turtles and dolphins, <laughs> but all right, anyways. <clears throat> Research shows that smaller albacore, such as used by Wild Planet, contain less mercury than larger albacore. All right, so you'll get less mercury poisoning if you eat this. Hand-packed, 100% pure tuna and sea salt, no liquid or fillers added. Please do not drain. So they want you to drink whatever liquid is in there. Okay, non-GMO, pull top can. You can see the nutrition facts. Um, let me actually compare it to the sea chickens. <laughs> All right. The problem with this one, let's see here. This is, okay, serving size, three ounces drain. So this is if you take the water out. Um, 90 calories versus 100. Let me see if I can zoom out and show both of these, or I'll just move the camera up. Okay, so here you can compare, or I'll compare for you. 2.5 grams of fat. The chicken of the sea has no fat. So these um, fishing pole caught tunas have more fat for some reason. Uh, saturated fat, one gram in this one. The chicken of this sea has no fat, uh, saturated fat. Um, <clears throat> all right, what else? Trans fat, both have zero. Polyunsaturated fat, nothing. Okay, cholesterol, 20 milligrams for three ounces versus this one has 45 milligrams. So the chicken of the sea has a lot more cholesterol. So um, if you're high cholesterol, you'll want to eat this one, I guess. Uh, sodium, 200 milligrams in this, and 270, so they put more salt in this one. Okay, carbs, nothing. Sugars, nothing. Um, all right, what else do we got? Protein, this has more protein, 21 grams, versus this one, 18 grams. All right, you got vitamin D, 30% in here. Vitamin D, 2, uh, 10 sorry, 10%, 2 micrograms, versus this, this one, the albacore one has 6 micrograms. Um, calcium, 3 milligrams, 0%. This one has ca no calcium. Iron, 1 milligram, 4%. This one has iron, 1 milligram, 6%. Somehow, 1 milligram makes a difference in this can. Maybe you're getting some extra iron from the can itself. And then you got potassium, 281 milligrams, 6%. And this one, potassium, 188 milligrams, 4%. So I don't know how they measure and how it's so different, but yeah. All right, ingredients on this, <clears throat> albacore tuna, and sea salt, that's pretty much it. And they tell you where they caught it, all right? It was caught in New Zealand, uh, North Pacific or coastal New Zealand and processed in Vietnam. So I don't know why they send the fish all the way to Vietnam to get processed after catching it, but I guess that's what they do, all right? Produced for Wild Planet Foods. Okay, you can read that. And that's a California company, so I don't know what's going on with that. And there, refrigerate after opening, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't really understand this because there's it says 10 servings per container and it's three ounces. But if you look at this, it's six five ounce cans. So by container, they mean this entire thing, okay? 
And so that means each <clears throat> serving is, was it three ounces? So that means you get more than one and a half servings per container. And I was like, who eats like that? That's kind of weird. And the nutrition facts get you all confused. And my friend told me that's because most people have cats, so they'll just give the extra <laughs> extra two ounces to their cat. All right, um, and this, what do they say here? Two servings. So in here, they say two servings per can. You can see it's seven ounces, all right? So that's also weird because the serving size is three ounces, so maybe the water is one ounce, I don't know. And oh, and also, wait, it says chunk light. I don't know what that, what's, what that means. Maybe it's the chunks are lighter or there's less salt or I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go ahead and open this. Is there a little tab? Yeah, okay, so this has some preparations here as you can see to open this easily. So let's go ahead and do that and tear this off and let's see what the labeling on the can themselves say because <clears throat> you can't say the 10 servings. Okay, so here you go. So now you see on this can, it says 1.5 servings, which doesn't make sense because a serving is three ounces. Is this, see that's five ounces. So that means it should be 4.5 ounces if you do the math right. Um, 85, okay, I can't do the 85 in my head. So 85 plus 40, 125. Yeah, see, that's way, there's way more than, <laughs> okay. Anyways, here you can see the packaging here and they have the same other ingredient or sorry, the nutrition facts and stuff on there and the ingredients. They have a barcode so you can sell these separately if you own a store. Pure hand packed tuna. There you go. Excuse me. So it has all that same information there and it's kind of weird because they put the can upside down. So you can see they put all this information on the top here. People might get confused and think they need to use a can opener, uh, but really you flip it upside down and you got the expiration date here and a pull tab, all right? So Best Buy, it's hard to read that because it's printed over that. Um, and they don't, I don't think they print, do they print the expiration on this plastic? I didn't see it, maybe, maybe I missed it. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, March 30th, 2024, okay, I can read that. So they write it twice, so they, I don't know why they did that in case, I guess in case you don't know the American way. Actually, that's not even the American way. They put the year first, then the month, and then the day. So March 30th, 2024, um, it's March 7th or 8th right now, uh, 2022. So this can store in the can for about two years. And then we got this one. <clears throat> you can see this, the best tuna just got better. <clears throat> I don't know how it got better, but you can see this. I mean, this is supposed to be a review of the Albacore one, so I'm just going to quickly show this. In the bo bottom, they have the same, but this can store for longer, so I don't know why, but it can. Um, ingredients, tuna, water. Oh, they put vegetable broth in here, um, so that's the difference. Okay, and this is also a product of Vietnam, or I don't know if this is considered a product of Vietnam, but it's like processed in Vietnam, so... Does that make it a product of Vietnam? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and open these. We'll see if the chunks are bigger or anything like that. We're gonna pop it open. Hey, this one just looks like a mush of cat food. <laughs> okay, they said don't drain it. Here you can see, all right, it doesn't look like a chunk of tuna unless they just cut a round piece and shove it in the can. We'll see when we scoop it out. All right, let's go ahead and open this one as well. You just pull it up like that. And then after you do that, you grab this and pull this out. And here you can see there's a huge difference. This tuna looks like um, pieces of tuna all mushed up and then put with water. And this looks like a blob of like cat food or something. So let's go ahead and see if, okay, no, this is like a hard chunk. Wow. Okay. So maybe it is. I don't know how that works. Okay. I think it actually is. Let me actually show you. So this is like one big chunk of tuna, I guess. You can see it flakes apart. I kind of want to show, let me actually zoom in a bit, sorry. That's very interesting. Okay, let me try this real quick. It tastes like tuna, not very salty. Okay, tastes like a tuna sandwich. 
let's try this one. Okay, so if you look at this, there's like little chunks at the top and then there's bigger chunks in the bottom. Let's try it. Tastes like tuna. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I dropped one spoon. Okay, now I need a thing, napkin to wipe this off. Okay, let me try a little bit more. So far, in a blind taste test, if it was all mushed to the same mushiness, I probably wouldn't know. Actually, this is less salty. Okay, let me try this one again. If I'm going just by taste, this actually tastes better because they put other stuff in it, I think. This one tastes more plain. So, I don't know, let me, you want to try it? I'll let my brother try it. You can see it's like a, oops, you can see it's like a thick block. So I don't know how they cut it to fit in the can like that. Because, as you can see, the, the fish actually flakes out. But it's like, it's you can see, it like flakes out like actual um, pieces, a big chunk of tuna. So I don't know how they pack it like that, but... They basically just put a huge chunk of tuna in there. I this one, they actually mush it up. I don't want to taste gross. <laughs> so, yeah, so this one's a little bit. More so healthy. if you so if you go by healthy food tastes not as good, then it's definitely going by that rule. <laughs> it tastes more plain. Yeah, it's it's a lot more plain. I mean, if you more. put it, uh, and because it's a bigger chunk, it's harder. So, I don't know, because when I make a tuna sandwich, I want it to be mushed up and chunked like this. So, basically, you're going to have to work harder to mush it back up. I guess the good thing about this is you can see it's like a big piece of tuna for for some people that are saying they'd rather see the entire thing and they don't want to have a blended up chicken. Um, but I don't mind having blended up processed chicken. I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, it's really up to you. I mean, you can you can definitely tell that this is like a big chunk of tuna. And this is like all broken up, mushed up. For all we know, this can be like the leftover tuna that they, they were cutting the tuna steaks or whatever. And then the leftover that they couldn't keep in big chunks, they just dump it in here. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, definitely with whatever they do with this, it tastes better. Um, yeah. So if flavor is what you're going for. I'm definitely going to say the Chicken of the Sea is the winner. Um, I guess if you want healthy and um, I'm guessing it's sustainably caught and all that, then you can go with this. But um, yeah, anyways, I mean, I'm pretty sure they can do the same thing with this tuna, put different sauce, but mush it up, put whatever to make it have the same flavor. But since people are going with all that extra healthy and all that stuff, I guess they they want to make it where it's only those ingredients. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. All right, so I'm going to try and make it a more fair comparison. We're going to get some mayo here. This one says to drain. This one says not to. So I'm going to drain the water from here real quick, put them in this bowl, add about an equal amount of mayonnaise, mush it around, and we'll see how it tastes. All right, let me do that real quick, and I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, I drained this out, but not 100%. Normally what I do is I put the can lid in, and then I push the can lid in while I drain it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I toss the cans into the sink, so or the lids into the sink, so I'm not going to go and do all that. So let's go ahead and scoop this tuna out. Here you can see there are bigger chunks in there, all right? So it's not all those little chunks. I think my cat probably smells it. I mean, she's always at the table anyways because she... She gets lonely. She just likes following us everywhere. All right. So let's get all this out. Okay. So there we got that mush. We're going to get this one out. This one's not really a mush. So let's see if we can plop the whole thing. Oh, it's like stuck in there. Okay. So we'll push this whole thing out if we can. There we go. So you can see this one is not chunks of tuna. It's just a whole piece. All right, so if you're going to be making like um, mixing it with mayo and stuff to make a sandwich, this one you're going to have to work all, mush it all up, all right? So this one is more work for you to, to do. But if you're doing something where you want big chunks of tuna, then I guess that works. 
but I don't know any other recipes I would use canned tuna for. What what do you guys make with it? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's go ahead and get the mayo here. Okay. I don't know how much mayo to add. I'm just going to add like a heaping spoonful on each. And let's go ahead and stir it up and see. That's probably not enough mayo, to be honest. But uh, let's see. I'm probably going to add a second or third spoon. Yeah, that's definitely not enough mayo. We're gonna run out of mayo here. Okay, let's get a second spoon. And a second spoon. And maybe a half spoon. And maybe a half spoon. Okay, oops. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and mush this all together. And yes, I know. Usually with uh, tuna and stuff, you add salt, pepper, celery, whatever, pickles. You can add what you want, but this is my tuna, not yours, so I'll put whatever I want in it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. That might be too much mayo. Usually I'll actually add salt and pepper, but put in the salad. <laughs> okay, we'll try later. Alright, and we'll stir this one up. Again, this one is much harder to stir up because it's like giant chunks. And also we left the water in there. Which, it doesn't have as much water in it because it's like one giant blob. Uh, the other one is kind of the water's all mushed together. I think I might have to mush this. Uh-oh, my brother said the Wi-Fi is dead. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Give me a second. All right, so let's go ahead and try this if it helps. Um, if not, I guess I'll add salt and pepper. All right, let's see. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Mayo does help it, okay? Because this by itself is like really dry compared to that. All right, let's try this. I should be a chef. The mayo, the mayo might make it better. Um, this now it might be overly salty, but again, you're gonna eat this with bread. Nobody eats this like cereal out of a bowl like this, so. I would say with this, it's probably going to be, again, it'll be more plain. You can add more salt and pepper, and then it'll be good. But anyways, you want to try it? Want to try and compare the two? Okay, my brother's going to try it. We're eating uh, tuna like it's a oatmeal or something. <laughs> This one's, if you eat this one first, this is not going to have much flavor. <laughs> this one's harder. Yeah, because it came as a big clump of a tuna. So, yeah, so this one, the texture this, is more this way, like solid. More. So, one of my brothers said with the uh, mayo, this is actually better. I mean, I prefer this one. But, again, I think if you put it in a sandwich, like right now, this one is more, like, maybe a little too salty. But, again, if you're eating it with bread, it's going to dilute all that salt out so I think this is not going to be salty enough so you can add more salt um, to me they taste pretty similar except this is less salty um, yeah and then also the texture it's uh, it's harder chunks but um, that's pretty much it now I made this video way too long you're watching like a more than 20 minute video of us talking about tuna in a can <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time